Hey there guys, welcome back to Prison Architect Part 2, or just the next part of the story, I don't yeah. know what we're going for. But, um, episode 2, yay! This is it, we're okay. carrying on with the story, and as oh, you can oh, see, oh, there's fire there's and fire. electrical problems going on everywhere. It's not good. Um, priest, help us. Priest? <laughs> I don't know if the priest is still here. Chief. CEO! Hopefully, CEO. I'm sure there's going to be a phone call. I mean, we have no time for phone calls, oh. we have to deal with this fire. Hey! hey. It's a good job you're here. There's a crisis brewing at the facility. Oh no. Someone started a fire in the kitchen and it's out of control. Your priority is to put it out. No, sugar. <laughs> Stop any casualties and pre prevent more damage. Okay, boss. You need to call the fire department immediately. Wow. Get off the phone then, CEO, so I can call him then. Uh, press down to open the emergency menu, highlight fireman, and press X to have the fire engine dispatched to our location. Okay. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Okay, thank you. Do fire, it. What are you waiting I'm for? I'm gonna hide both of them because you can hide two. Oh yes. Yeah, they can't. Oh. See, why am I calling? You need to call the. You need to direct the firemen when they're on site. So I better teach you how to control them. Press down to reopen the emergency menu and highlight the firemen option. With firemen highlighted, press down to browse the squads currently on site. Press X to select the squads you want to control. With the squad selected, simply press the cursor where you want it to move them, and press X again to move them to run to that location. Once you have the squad selected, you can press X, or keep pressing X to quickly change where you want the squad to move. Is it rushed? We're in a hurry, CEO. If the fireman wants, pre pre uh, if the fireman pass any fires en route to the location you specified, they will stop to extinguish them before continuing along their path. I would hope so. Select the squad of firemen now and move them to, into the burning buildings. Don't worry about anything else. Just get them close and they'll do and they'll do the rest. Okay, I'm going to ignore everything he said and I'm going to click and drag because you can do that and go... Boom. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to click and drag you guys and you guys <coughs> are going to come straight in. Boom. Wait, is there a door there? Uh, well, there's a hole in the wall. Oh. So I'm gonna just assume, and here oh, we go, boom, here we go, that's so what I'm talking, talking about. about, these guys, pile on in, in you go, all three of them, is there not a fourth one, yeah, cool, I think we've lost the fireman, I'm pretty sure there's a, <laughs> fireman down, fireman down, we're like half a fire in, okay, Are you in this round, this one. fire, <laughs> start this one, work your way into here, these guys will finish this this room off. Okay, they got just the top bit. There's a guy still back here. It's his first day on the job and he's scared. He hasn't <laughs> he's actually had to fight a fire like... before. Yeah, his, <laughs> his, his like pose got stuck. Oh, they finished that room. Now, don't worry, we're here. <laughs> Look, yeah. they're even trying come to put it over the wall. <laughs> here you come. Come on, fight it. No, he's still, he's still <laughs> hiding. He's he doesn't the, want to do this. He's gone the very long way around. He's guys, guys, the longest guys, route. I'm here. What's there to do? It's already done. Aww. Aww. I tried. Well, maybe next I time. I think that's it. I think we're done. Come on. Get those last few patches. You might have to move a bit No, I think, they're, I think they're getting it. Right, go and have a shower while you're there. They'll wash you while you get the fire. <laughs> there we go. Yay, fire's done. Save the fire. Casualty averted. Well done, team. There was a guy in there. My God, there's a survivor in the wreckage. And it's injured. Wow. He's a, He's a been little bit badly, badly burned. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Don Palermo of all the inmates. It just had to be our resident mob boss. Oh, God. The mob boss. Butter my ass. This couldn't have happened at a worse time. Budget cut means we had to fire this prison's medical staff last month. Oh, God. Hmm. The infirmary is still in decent working order, though. Hire a couple of doctors and do it quick. We need to get Don Palermo in a stable condition as soon as possible. This son of a bitch has yet to stand trial, and if he dies on our watch, there will be serious repercussions. He's, like, bleeding out in all this time he's saying this, by the way. Don't worry. I'll handle any... <laughs> I'll handle any backlash from the mayor. This is just as bad as him as it is for us... Don't forget to dismiss the firemen now the fire has been put out. Okay. To dismiss them, press down and open the emergencies menu, highlight firemen, and press down again to highlight the squad you want to dismiss. And finally, press square to send them on their way. Thank you. I've added more details about each of these objectives to your to-do list. 
Anytime you're unsure of what to do, press that button to open the to-do list for a reminder of my instructions. L1. L1. Okay. So, emergency. Good thing you know what it says. <laughs> oh, you've got, like I said, you've got a camera in the way. Okay, we'll dismiss both of you with all your massively long poses. Uh, prison good. running. We're going to hire staff. The infirmary's down here. Did you dismiss the firemen? Yep, they're gone. And we're going to go one, two. There's four beds, so I'm going to hire. Oh, I'm going to hire There's three. three beds. Oh, four beds. Yeah, oh, at right. least two. There we go. And dismiss the firemen. So the firemen are on their way out. As soon as they leave. Well, hopefully that one guy doesn't That's decide nice to stay for too long. Yeah. Oh, no, he's the first one out the door. He's gone. <laughs> he's already gone, is he? Come on. You guys leave, and then I've done this. Dismissed, they're detaching their hoses, and they're on their way. Way! Well, we did it. We prevented you, a fire. You guys can leave. They're just enjoying the aesthetic beauty of the prison. I mean, they're literally looking at this. <laughs> that grid, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I think they're waiting for their fire engine to fill up. Because they're now full, they can go. They can, oh, they can go. go. Squad's been dismissed. There we go. Nino, Nino, Taking their time. Nino. Oh, I can speed up, can I? There we go. Off and they go. No way. Cool. He's he's been taken to the infirmary. Cool. Okay, we've got the little saving thing at the bottom. Now the dawn is being looked after. We can focus on getting this place back up and running. What an absolute mess. We need to clean it up immediately. You can instruct your workmen to clear everything in the area using the bulldoze tool. Use it to clear all the debris from what you used in, our, in what used to be in the kitchen and the canteen. Okay. To use the building to, uh, the bulldoze tool, press left to open the construction menu and select demolition and then so highlight bulldoze. Okay. With bulldoze highlighted, simply press X and drag drag out the area you want to bulldoze. Got it. Alternatively, with other menus open, you can hold R1 to activate quit the Quick demolish mode. Still hold R1, press X, and drag it across an area bulldoze. Great. Okay. Time is of the essence here, so I'm not going to speed this up. I mean, I will speed this up. Just do it. Hire a workman and do it. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> finally, we need to designate a garbage zone next to the main next to the main road. Our workman will dump any debris there for garbage trucks to dispose of. Got it. Uh, sure. We know how to do this. Cool. Cool. Construction. Room. Technically not a room, but garbage zone. Bang. I mean, it's a room for the garbage zone. It's got its own. And room. then he said that I can demolish. I can do that. Cool. Let's go like this. Get rid of all of that. And then let's get rid of all of that. So this used to be the canteen and the kitchen. Ooh. So uh, they're going to need those. And he said rehire some workmen. So I'm going to do that as well. Uh, hire star. Workman, let's just go. You, you said they got budget cuts, right? Sorry? <laughs> I was going to say, have you sort of pay all of them? Yeah, so basically you'll see like, the cash flow. If I hire someone, they'll um, they'll show me that the cash flow will go down because I'm spending oh. an extra how oh, okay. much a day. Oh, it's CEO's me. CEO's calling. Demolishing these buildings will take a while. You can speed up the passage of time by holding trial. We know this already. Yeah. You can slow the game back down alternatively by holding triangle or pressing left. Give it a go. So you, you already can pause it and then you can speed up and slow it down and pause it again. And speed it all the way up so that they get this done quickly. Oh yeah. And then they're going to take all those garbage bags to my garbage site that will get filled. Oh, it's you again. Uh, good work. If that was all I said. I was so hoping that was just hanging up there. Let's, ch let's check up on your casualty. On our casualty. Oh, it's a nice little pan. He's unconscious. He's been patched up very nicely, though. Oh. He's got a couple of guests. Oh, it's Jimmy and Fat Tony. I really hope that guy's called Fat Tony. <laughs> right, which one are you going to take the voice of? Uh, I'll take the fat one. So okay. Pretty big. <laughs> Speak yourself up. So we got to try and do Italian gangster to start with it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you... Oh, I'm so glad you took that guy. Thank you. Because he's injured. No, I see you said the big guy. No, he's, the, oh, no, he, the oh, guy. No, he's pretty good. I think he's trying to say something. Hey, 
Hey, I'm just gonna be Christopher Walken. I hope you know that. <laughs> Which are you cock sucking feel the putana did this? I hope my god is Ah, damn it. No one did this to you, Papa. It was an accident. <laughs> That's my Christopher Walken impression. It's the best I got. Walken Ali. Because he's Italian. <laughs> you know. Show your stinking mouth and listen good to both of you. If I knew which of you fuckers started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. I don't hear you swear very often. This is great. But my time is done. I'm gonna die in this fucking bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capiche? We know what to do, Pops. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> Your guy doesn't even say anything. I'm just I like, said one I'm thing. Just, I just need to do Your the voice. Every voice. Apparently. I've done one thing. <clears throat> Watch your fucking back. <laughs> this isn't over, Nico. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> oh. Without food, these inmates will be turning. Oh god, this is a thing stuck in my head. It's not even Italian. It's all good. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We gotta secure the prison before we end up with a riot in our ha on our hands. To prevent all these chaos, we need some guard stations around the prison as a show of force. Okay. This is a guard deployment view. In this view, you can manage the tactical deployment of all your guards. This is a view that can be ended by pressing right. To open the pr prison running menu, select guarding the Deployment. Once in guard deployment, you you can instruct the guard to secure a certain room by simply selecting guard. Place the cursor in your room that you want to assign a guard by pressing X. You should. Uh, I'm bored. Okay, and then we're gonna. I've got a station at least ten guards. Uh, uh, press cool. L one if you're unsure. Cool. We'll do the voices as much as we see fit. Sometimes they just go talk. on. This here right. is the guard. Gonna here. get fired soon. So that's one, two. Uh, three, four, five, one in the shower, seven, eight, nine, let's have one here, and one here. It's ten. Alright. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. You did that, didn't you? Setting up patrol means you have to have more control of where the guards are at all times. You can set up new patrols by pressing right to open the prison running menu and then select patrol rules. Cool. So similar, but instead of them just being in that room, you have to you, you set a route. Walk. So you go like, I want you to walk. Oh, I've missed it. I missed the section here. <laughs> so I, I, I can be like, I want you to walk here and then go here and then go down and then go back to the start and be like, Ooh. I want you to walk around that space so that it's a bit more specific. That's cool, man. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, and assign guards to them. The guard on the walk. There we go. Let's do two. Cool. Wicked. So I'm going to have two guards like, walking around that little space until the canteen's We back. still have a lot of work to do to get this place back up and running. Our priority is to replace the kitchen and the canteen. Cool. You'll need to construct some new buildings in a central courtyard. And then assign spaces for a new kitchen and canteen using these rooms. The rooms. You'll also need to install all of the required objects for each room. Cookers, fridges, a sink, serving table, benches, and bins. Finally, you'll need to hire some new cooks to prepare the, the meals each day. We'll need about eight cooks for a prison for this size, I think. Cool. Yeah, do it. It's going to be put on and the then that's out of the two list. Okay, so construction. We need to start off with the structure. Uh, and we need building brick. So let's do this here, this here. Cool. Uh, let's also get a staff door here for the kitchen. And then we'll have two large gel doors on each side there and there. Uh, we'll put another staff door on that side as well. Cool. Let's get that sped up. Doing it, man. So the to-do list. Uh, build the kitchen. Cool, we're fine. 
We're all good. Let's get this stuff built. There's a chair that survived the, the fire. Oh my god. There he is. It would be kept. Look at that chair. Look at him go. This guy now can't get out. Because <laughs> he's waiting for someone to come and unlock that door. Oh wait, is he having a rest? He's exhausted. <laughs> so he, he's literally sleeping. He's now going home. <laughs> he's sleeping on the job. God, could you imagine if, if we did that at work or something like that? I'd get picked up and get fired. You get that tired that you just fall asleep on the spot. Is this one not being done? I saw, I, you, I did that, right? I don't so know. Well, the, the doors have been built. There's just a door there and there, just floating in the middle of a, <laughs> a thing. Okay, so these guys are installing some lights as well, which is great. So, let's slow this down a little bit. Construction. So, let's make this uh, the canteen. Okay. Right here to here, so this whole room. And then in the canteen, you need bins. So let's do one by that door, and we'll do uh, one by this door. Serving table, so this is where the food's brought out to by the chefs. So we'll Ooh. do one there, one there, and we'll do one there. Three should be enough. Tables. We're going to have them go this way. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wicked. Then we'll put some benches for the tables. They can sit down at the said tables. <laughs> oh, eventually... Okay. Why has that one got a portion mark on it? Is it just because that building? Oh no, that is just saying it's saying here. So look, if I click here, it's saying it's missing items. All oh, right. So I need a serving table, a table, and a bench. So once they've been put in, oh, that cool. will go to green. Uh, let's also just get the power supply a bit better. Oh wow, that's messed up. So let's fix this. Put this all the way over here, and we'll do the same with this. Also, with big kitchen stuff. Um, you need the cables uh, on the actual kitchen like appliances. Oh, right, okay. So I'm going to have the cable run all the way across this wall, all the way across this wall, and I'll have them connect as well. So basically, I'll make sure that all of my fridges and cookers and stuff are around the outside of it. Right, got you. Um, I also think I missed a bit there. I did. There we go, we're okay now. So, uh, objects. We need some cookers, so let's go one, two, three, four. I don't know which way, there we go, that's right. So let's do one, two, three, four. It's a lot of food. Some sinks in there, one, two. I don't know if you needed the bin, but let's put a bin in there. Might as well, By any refuge door. or anything that comes back. Yeah. So, how many of each did we actually need? And they have a chair. Four fridges, four cookers, and there's a chair, you're right. Okay, I need to hire eight chefs. Hire eight star cooks. cooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I can. They're all leaving. <laughs> Must uh, not be lunch. They're not the happy chef. with their fridges. <laughs> uh, Going on strike already. <laughs> you're not wrong. Oh, I haven't actually made it a kitchen. That's quite a big one. That's probably why they're running. That's away. probably why they've left. They don't Come know back. where the kitchen is. <laughs> the kitchen's over here. You can do it. Look. It it's Ignore those two. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they might be serving did you need to get serving stuff in there? Uh no, the, I think the, the cooks take it through. Uh water supply is a big one. So you can see the big water pipes. Big water pipes take loads of water and keep the pressure up. But the small pipes are for like putting it to your items. So because I've got the sinks here, they need yeah. water, um, but they don't need high pressure water. Uh, but if you take the small pipes too far away from the big pipes, then the water pressure goes down and they don't work, essentially. All That's right, kind cool. of how it works. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll probably um, have this stuff all installed. Uh, we'll stop this episode here and we'll upload the rest of this episode um, uh, story next Set week, part. probably. Yeah. Um, so, while the CEO is on the phone, we'll get to him next episode. But for now, guys, we've been TNJ Gamers. You guys have been awesome. And we'll see you next time. See, see you later, guys.